Mr. Titus Glover, uh, the issue will just not go away. The, he uttered a statement uh, at a party event, Health Walk Rally um, at the Easter. It looks like um, the position straight from the MPP is one-sided and from the NDC as well. And then also civil society adding their voices uh, in condemnation uh, mean that ultimately something will have to um, give, right? What do you make of the concerns that have been raised? And now the latest coming from the National Peace Council. Mr. Titus Glover. Roland Walker, good morning. Morning. Good morning to Prof. Good this morning. is my first time I've met him. Yeah, good morning. And I enjoy listening and watching him anytime there is an economic issue that he come to explain and educate us. I'm privileged to have you with me you. on set. Then to my younger brother, lawyer and friend. And to you, mischievous Lula Walker, <laughs> I say good morning to you. Um, the statement made by the chairman of the Peace Council is a welcome one. And I thank you very much for the statement. But this statement, I would say that even though he tried to refer to all players within the political space, Brian, when you look at, or when you listen to the statement that he made, started with the gradual improvement in the economy. And he went further to say that when the IMF supports becomes a personal, he believes that he's going to give some impetus to the MPP government to continue to be in power. He went on to say that if the NDC continue to disturb the peace of, of the country, then we have the men. How is the NDC disturbing the peace? When you look at some commentaries that has been made earlier, until recently, a very young man, a youth organizer of their party in Swami, I've forgotten his name. He was at the program, a party program, and I had a young man saying that politics, prof, is not a Christianity. Uh, you cannot beat an MPP in a free and fair elections. It means that when you see an MPP person, you have a stick, hit him, attack him. In the full glare of party people, he made that comment. Then I recall when General Chairman Isidun Kitia, in his victory speech at Accra Sports Stadium, he made a definitive statement. And my brother Eduji was there. And he said the path is not going to be smooth, but they will stand the challenge. They are prepared to sacrifice everything. He repeated, I mean everything, including lives. Whose lives are they going to sacrifice? Anybody who crossed their path? And when you say you're going to sacrifice life. I don't understand. What's your interpretation of My that interpretation statement? My interpretation is that they are ready to kill. Anybody who stands in their way. Are you saying that way, a statement from the chairman of the NDC at the time that he was uh, the giving his... speech, what he said was Your that, interpretation of that statement that exactly meant that, what that they quoting, wanted to sacrifice... I'm quoting exactly what he Co said. These are strong words. That the path is not going to be smooth. How do you equate that statement to the statement of Brian H. Champo, who has held a Minister of State position for national security? I am coming. Kika kika ni jaya. Kuda yo ju yete. Kuku kuku ni jaya. Kika kika ni zube jai. So when the Sedun Ketia, the then General Secretary, promoted into National Chairman, because he's a for some people, he's a timid. Yes, for some people, he's not a type. That should lead. So you want somebody who, 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 who can stand the MPP. You wear a, 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 a war dress. Then you come and say that the path is not going to be smooth. You will stand the test of your challenge. And you are going to sacrifice everything, including lives. 
How does that equate to the statement made by Brian I am Developing my point. Please wrap up. Eh? So that we speak to so all the So don't bring issues. that your mischief here. There's no mischief. Because please. if what they said in Gutia said, and you want to interrogate it, analyze it, you think that is a good statement? And above all, my big brother and my good friend, the former president, when he said boot, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 boot for boot. It will be boot for Chaliwati. Not boot for boot. To the extent that he said, look, NDC has revolutionary what? Traces, roots. And when it comes to unleashing violence, in 1980, where were you? Roland, maybe it was any. Did you see what happened? 81, 82, 83? In the revolution? We are in the fourth republic. And when they leash violence. As far as I'm concerned, because the, the NDC was their life. birthed from the revolution. And we I lived through it. I saw it. I saw how people were killed. That equates to the statement of the So when when a former president makes such a statement, you must sit up. So Brian Champon was saying that look. We all know when election is won, when you lose, you lose. There is no way you hold on to power when you have lost. It has never happened before. Rollins handed over to Kufo. Kufo handed over to, to, to Mills. Your mama handed over to Nakufado. So who says that if they're on to touch wood? If you have lost, you have lost. So what is this? noise and attention seeking NDC that Brian should be invited by the police to go and do what? I said, I've heard that they said the word they've written to IGP. When I was coming, the police said my national organizer, I've heard him that he has tweeted somewhere. He's also writing to the police to invite JDM and the Sidon Kutia to go and also go and answer yeah, the question. Okay, so yes, then people is retired. Yes, that's right. Okay. Mm. You, 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 you'll be the ombudsman. You're in the middle. What do you make of it? Yeah, Roland, um, I can't say I'm Oh, uh, I should come to him before I come to you. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. Oh, okay. I'm ready to take it. You know, um, when it comes to addressing audience, sometimes uh, we need to be careful. And we shouldn't be swayed by what we want to speak and then carry the audience along. And I believe the message that came from Brian was more or less... I would say a grassroots kind of message. Message where those at the lower level of the political ladder understands. And in a way, trying to whip up you know, their sentiment to ensure that at least he gets their support. I mean, Brian has never mounted a podium before um, to speak in that manner. If you look at um, Brian in the political space in this country, the only thing that I heard of him that um, he came to public was when we had this Ayawaso issue. But for him to stand on a platform to make such a statement, I think more or less a way of also seeking political relevance. But is that not why, because of his association with Ayawaso West Wagon, that um, such utterances from him, whether they are meant for the grassroots or not, to whip up what you call public sentiment, that, that, that he has to be careful. That is the very reason why he has to be careful. I was coming to that. Because, you know, finding yourself in the political space and looking at the timing. You see, we are in times where people are frustrated. We are in times where you take your salary and 50%, you know, of the purchasing power of that salary is wiped off. And in times where youth on un unemployment is so high to the level where anything you instigate can, you know, build up into, you know, something else that the country may not be able to carry. So I believe, you know, when you mount on such platform, mm. in as much as you want to pick up sentiment, you really have to be, you know, careful as to how you address, you know, your political audience. Very, very important for this country to move on. Mm. And especially now that we have social media <clears throat> where exactly. people can easily yeah, take yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now it looks like Esiedi Nketi and Jomama has become the rebuttal for the governing MPP. These are the main statements, etc. So, and Holland, that's why you uh, went to the CID. Hold on, two quick issues. First of all, um, yesterday we lost our regional treasurer in Upper East. 
I want to express my deepest condolence to the family of Adawini. Two, um, you know your old friend, Robert Coma. Yes. The work he's doing with... With AstroTefs. Yes. The with two Wembley Sports Alajo, the construction. The one. Very beautiful. But you see, I'm disappointed this morning. Listen to my senior brother, Titus. Why? The attempt at romanticizing the rather treasonable, reckless comment by Brana Champo is completely unfortunate. Why treasonable? Listen, and like you pointed out rightly, the only thing that has sustained this 1992 constitution, and always remember that from independence, the only constitution that has survived 10 years is this 1992 constitution. The ability of our people to change government and the resolve of political leadership to transfer power is what has allowed this 1992 constitution to survive for 30 years. Yeah. And so when people trusted with leadership make reckless political comments, and my senior says is to what? To ginger, to as it were revive. No, it is to destroy this country. And you see, in an attempt, senior, to romanticize this statement by Brian Achampo, he now decides to quote unquote pedal obvious falsehood about the national chairman of NDC. Yeah, he said it's a retaliation with his no, first of all, speech. First of all, and then our good national good. chairman, General Mosquito, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. never said anywhere that we will win power, including taking lives. Never. And so you see, the MPP social media cyborg, you know what they decided to do? <laughs> Is to take his voice and doctor it. And the first person, hold on, and the first person who shared it, you know the person who Dennis. shared it? Dennis Miracle. Dennis Miracle's a boy. He so, comes since to No, hold on. So I just want Titus to know that it is unfair for him to do this without cross-checking the statement made. This is Miracle, Abwaji, who works at the office of the president. Look, I sincerely apologize and have subsequently removed the Asedun Ketia video I shared earlier. My attention had been drawn to an original video which clearly shows the earlier one I have viewed and shared was doctored. Obviously, this version I saw and shared had been tampered with, which isn't right. I withdraw accordingly with apologies. So what you are mounting your defense and equalization on has been withdrawn and an apology rendered accordingly. So Sina, this morning when you woke up from the house to this studio, if you had planned to mount a spirited defense, I am saying that the foundation of that your defense is empty. And so everything had collapsed. Look, you don't know Brana Champon well. You see, Brian, anything called violence is associated with his character and make. Oh, how? That's character assassination. No. <laughs> Look, the first time Brian attempted to become an MP was in Suhum. He decided to use violence. But this time round, he was immediately countered with counter violence by Oparianza. In fact, at a point, Brana Champon turned Suhum into the hotbed of political violence. Oh, how do you make that comment? Yes, he is aware. Oparianza, the, 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 the exchange of machete cuts on people. Oh. So that is the make of the person called Brian. And he ran away from Suhu to where he is the MP currently. Go and check the 2008 MPP primaries in Suhu. 2008? Yes. So it was when he failed in Suhu that he went to Kwewu. That's Brana Champo. Two, look at his involvement in the brutal, you know, uh, 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 discharge of firearm in innocent Ghanaians in Ayaso West Wago. So when I say his character formation and make is violence, this is exactly what I'm talking he about. He looks to be a cow man. That is even what makes him more dangerous. <laughs> I am giving you his political make. In fact, his association with Ghana politics today is violence. 
He, in fact, he had been captured by a commission of inquiry set up by Mr. Kufado himself. But he did say that as far as that commission and the act of fire was, so he, he was just only... Has he set it aside? Act. Not that I know of, but... The because I, I was please, at, the constitution at the venue. Pro, the constitution provides a remedy. If you think that the findings of fact made by a commission of inquiry against you are not true, do not reflect the reality. The constitution says you have the right to set it aside by appealing. He never did. So he is deemed to have accepted the findings of the commissions of inquiry. And, and that record will be there forever. And so when such a person makes those lunatic comments, you don't expect me to take it lightly. And look, you see, like I've always... Why do you call the comments lunatic? He, because they, they say see, it's just a... Uh, no, but you see, you see... Campaign. See. Please end for me so we end yes, on this. You see my senior, we'll bro my senior brother mm -hmm. here, uh, Tito. Mm. I've listened to Tito greatly. Oman FM, Boiling Point, among others. Tito won't go this far. Mr. Tito, is it true? Let him learn. Okay, please. Titus won't go this far. Look at him. Did you watch the video? It's like he was on drugs. Oh, please. No. No, I want to say this. You see, no, you no, see stop that's stop. where... No, no, no. See, no, no, let no, me no. tell you please, something. Please, no, no, please, no, 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 you cannot make that statement here. Please be fair to me. Make, just rejoice. So it. what do you want me to do? Be temperate in your language. Very well. With, with relation to that statement. So the point that is I, very well. Very no, well the point well. I'm making is that, you see... Please, just redraw the statement. Mr. Akufuado. Lawyer, Before, LBG, please oh, redraw it. If you say so, I've withdrawn No. Redraw it. Say, oh, I redraw that statement. If you say so, I've withdrawn it. No, don't do... We are oh, not on the law court. Okay, I've withdrawn. The, very good. Please continue. The point I am making is that, you see, I am not surprised... This reckless claim, I will not hand over. I would only hand over to another MPP person. Started with Akufado himself. Look, Akufado, you have a role model. President John Dramani Bahama, as sitting president, even when he lost power, as gentleman as he is, he handed over power. Gerolis had done the same thing. Mr. Kufo, but you see, a lot of people do not appreciate the character of Akufuado. In 2008, when he lost the election, do you know what he did? After attempting with the midnight, what is now known as the midnight jurisprudence, where they wanted to go to a court to injunct the swearing in of uh, uh, President Mills, among other things, he was angry with Kufu, the manner in which he handed over power. <laughs> this is a man who, in opposition, was telling us, Yena can fall. You remember? In the Tiwa, we show them. So the likes of Brana Champo and Co. are emboldened by those reckless political commentary. But you see, what Brian had forgotten hmm, is that there's always a response to a fool. Do you know that response? Look, it is not one mother that gives birth to a fool. No, 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 no. no. Brian, look, between myself and Brian, hmm, he has more investment in this country than to be, to be, to be careful with what he says. I don't know. What has his, got, his investment got to do with his politics? Why? If there's no peace in this country, no peace, people will not if there's no peace, who will go to his hotel? Okay. So it takes only a fool who cannot appreciate the dynamics of peace, its essence, to be talking in a reckless manner. If there's no peace, who will go to Kewu? Who will go to Rock City? So, Brana Champo, with the greatest respect to you, Please, come and apologize. Be the gentleman that you are and say, look, I was carried away by Bishi. So I am apologizing to the people of this country. You have the capacity to do that. Be a gentleman and do that. That is responsible. Because you see, the US Embassy, can you imagine? The investment talo, the investment anadako, all these what Americans. Does that got to do with the state? Listen, uh, if there are no peace, could anybody be on our various oil fields? Could anybody be monitoring the various investments by foreign agencies in this country? Point and that is why they recall the, 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 the need for peace is key. And I was thinking that my, 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 my senior titles would throw the line of peace 
But he tried to romanticize the claim by, by saying right. that Johnson had said doing Kitchen, knowing very well that it was a doctored video. It's unfortunate. All right, now let's move away well, on the issue. I will never move away. Uh, you are sitting we, here. We, we want to do the IMF conversation. You described Brian with so many harsh words. I told him to. Ah, and look minute. at the difficulty and the jihad even to redraw. He, Calling him that what? Is he what? He comes out the drugs? He's a lunatic? He's a violent person? And you want me to keep quiet? He, he, and he, just push it under the carpet? He said he made a lunatic statement. Oh, please. A I mean, I mean, no, 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 no. I will not say that. that I am not. Lunatic. Please, please. You when you are, when you are talking, I was no quiet here, and just, just taking relax. notes. We're all gentlemen. Do you understand? Yes. So I will not sit here. Okay. 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 Let's do two minutes so that we go. So, so clearly, you see the conduct of NDC. You see their lives. That's how they talk. That's exactly what Eduji is demonstrating here. You describe someone as lunatic. He's a violent person. Yes, in Zoom at the time, what do you call it? Uh, Operation. Huh? There was no machetes there. Hey. What are we talking about? Yeah. There, was hot, there were hot exchanges, but not to the extent of machetes. Okay, so when Brian so please, was going for there were hot exchanges. There were hot exchanges. With uh, Frederick Operation. Of course. But not. That is, that is healthy competition. Well, no. But, but, please. But, but, please. But, but not my. When you were talking, titles. I was quiet. Oh. Was that blush? It's okay. okay. Why, you know, why are you so intolerant? Very well. Uh, very well. Why? He says you are being intolerant, please. <laughs> You're all over the place. I'm quiet. In Tosikoko, I don't understand. What I'm what? saying is that harsh words, we all have them. Mm. But, Brian but when you get, harsh words. what I'm saying is that when you get to a point, you take it easy. We are discussing about the statement that has been made by Brian. The public is saying that it's not a bad, it's not a, it's not a good comment. The peace council. That is what we are saying. Peace council. So we need to make references. Why is he not referring to their own? Which is their own? I'm saying they said in Gautama, he said it's a doctor tip. You should come and prove to us that it's a doctor tip. Oh, uh, with a withdrawal with by Miracle. Please. Has when he stood at the stadium, <laughs> he was making us, he's a doctor tip. Now he's a doctor tip. Is that what they are saying? What I have, I'm not seeing it as a doctor tip. I'm not seeing it as a doctor you tip. Mean your position but because, is, is because, different from because he said the, smooth, the road is not going to be smooth. And but they lives. stand with the challenge. Mm. But they sacrifice. Lives. It's scary. Very, very dangerous. And you have a former president. <laughs> we said, I'm saying, doctor, you are now, here. Why is it that, look, why look, is that John look, Dramani Mama has look. become the subject of it's, discussion? In ah, this? but I mean, I'm, you look, sitting here, you go and attack Baumia right now. Eduji, you come after the vice president right now. Since he's their presumptive leader, and we know he's the one that they are bringing. <laughs> And because of the statement that he has made, so you're attacking. I saw the revolution. What has the revolution got is to do with? The NDC were back from the revolution. They celebrate the June Fourth. They celebrate the 31st December. All right. Point. Back. So, if Brian is saying that look, mm. the economic conditions is improving gradually, and finally with the support from the IMF, will become successful. I don't see how we should hand over power to it. Do you think that if Brian had said a statement the way you are saying it, people would, would have reacted? Exactly. No, people would not be reacted ah, to that. Malcolm. You, you not, not be right. Right. Now now let, let them know. Mm. You let, them, let them know. Mm. Your that Oman FM MPB, videos oh. are there. You were talking nice. Relax, no, relax, you were relax, talking relax, nice. Relax, on G, Oman FM. Why are do you that. doing this? You need to stop that. You were doing well on Oman FM. The way you talk and your tone. It's not the same You know, you know. Because you were that boy. What is this? He can be brought back. Come. Because the way you talk and your tone. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm not responding to the way you spoke. You know, you've become animated. It's very uncharacteristic of you. Please, please. Everybody has a style of communication. If the public is saying that the way you communicated was wrong, knowing Brian, he will come back and do the needful. But he was in response. To earlier statement made by the NDC, including the former president. Seriously, I'm telling you. <laughs> but now they said they are going to the police. They hmm? have gone. To They've the gone there. Mm. Nanabitu is writing to the police. Mm. So we will not see the media IGP. You request. So, uh, so we will sit down and look at it. Okay. It's boot for Chalewati, not boot for boot. Yo. Okay. Now let's come to the economy. What are you describing as a lunatic? Oh. As, as a, a drug man. I said what? As though. Drugs. Why did you redraw it? He has redrawn. 